They're like, hey, what up? I'm Ryan. Um, yeah, so I Would Have Left Me Too is a song that uh, I wrote a couple years ago. And really, it's just like, it's such a honest, um, vulnerable song that I, I didn't really think anybody was ever going to hear it. Like, when I sat down in that writer's room with my co-writer, Lisa Carver, um, we were both just going through a heartbreak. And so music is, in a lot of ways, therapy. And songwriting is therapy. I can't even tell you how many times I've gone into a writer's room and I've written how I felt that day, you know. And uh, that day we didn't use our computer. We just grabbed a legal pad and a pen, and we just started writing the song down and you know, I was telling somebody earlier that it was just in the margins, like we had the page just full. And at the end, there were tears all over the page, and her and I had become best friends because, you know, it just, you don't share something like that and then not become friends. And uh, we had just met that day, which is the other crazy thing that that songwriting um, kind of throws you in a room and then says, here, pour your heart and soul out. So anyways, um, that song just, like I said, I didn't think anybody would ever hear it. And so it's kind of like a little page out of my journal, you know, that I'm letting you read and just don't judge me for it. You know, it's just being honest. Yeah, it's a great song. Thank you. That's just like a testament to it that it kind of blew up because it came from vulnerability. It came from this place that you meant it. Yeah, and, and that's what I love about... Um, you know, on Spotify, it's got like 1.5 million, somewhere around there, streams. And um, it was kind of the sleeper cell of the of the EP. Like, we, we knew it was a great song, but we didn't really know that people would respond the way that they have. And that's been the coolest part, is seeing just how people are truly responding to, like, the honesty and how they're craving that, which is super cool. And I, as a songwriter and as, a, as an artist, I love that. Well, speaking of the same kind of thing, not knowing where a song is going to end up or anything, yeah, kind of have to touch on dibs. For sure. And, I mean, did you expect it to have the success that it did? Did you kind oh, of... Oh, gosh. You never really... When you're writing a song... Like, I write songs every day. That's literally what I do for a living. Um, that and, you know, being an artist. And um, when you're in a room, you can tell if a song is special. And we could tell that song was special. I remember at the end of it, one of us literally said, "Like, guys, we wrote we wrote something to be proud of today." And but to think that it would ever go number one and do what it did, no, I mean, that's it's so like just mind blowing that that that, that happened. And it was such a cool thing to be a part of because it was literally four best friends who wrote that song. You know, yeah. Um. Now, I saw that you have been wanting to do this since you were a kid. Yep. This is something that you dreamed of. So what does your family now think, seeing that you're uh, bringing that to life? Like, yeah, mom and dad were here. They flew up from Florida. Um, my little boy and my wife were here. My aunt and uncle were here. Like they've, The thing about my family is they've been incredibly supportive from the very beginning. And they love it, you know. I mean, there's hard times. There's good times. There's, um, you know... You don't get in this this business uh, and expect it to be easy. <laughs> it's a tough ride, and so they've been with me through the whole journey, and it's been really cool. Like it was, it's awesome to be able to stand on the CMA stage and play a song that I've written, and to turn on the radio and listen to XM and hear a song that I, I've written and sang. And you know, my folks, they get more excited. I mean, I get super excited, but my mom will call me and she's like, "You're on the radio again." <laughs> Yeah, she's like keeping track. She is. She'll she'll call me and she'll be like, "Oh, your Spotify's up to like 1.2 million now." <laughs> you know. And before she would have never known otherwise. Yeah, Spotify no, was. she had no idea. I gotta check now. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, well, you kind of touched on that too. I was gonna ask you what has been the most unexpected part of your music career so far. Just, yeah. I mean, if you you know had something that didn't go the way you thought. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I think I think Dibs is definitely the most unexpected part because I didn't come to town to write songs for other artists. Um, I came to town to be an artist and to like to have a song that was as successful as Dibs, um, and it 
and it be with another artist was just something that was such a blessing and such a cool thing that I never really expected or anticipated happening. 